there, I'm Sarah from Com Pilates and I put together another little back hair video for you. So I did a little survey uh, amongst you to ask what kind of content you wanted to see from me and um, the, the most popular option was definitely uh, another back hair video. So I've come up with a, few, a little different routine compared to the original one. Um, but if you like a more structured, structured approach to your back uh, issue, then actually, you know, I do offer a seven day uh, challenge, which um, will give you three workouts and some personal coaching from me, as well as a 12 week program that really tackles the, the sort of the sources of your back pain. But if you're ready, let's start. So come on to hands and knees. What we're going to do is you spread your fingers, wrists are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. We're going to start with a cat curl because that is a really good way of connecting with your core. So first we do a few breaths, no curling just yet. So breathe in wide. As you breathe out, I need you to tighten your abs, belly button towards your spine, that's it. So you tighten the ab area all upwards, breathe in wide. As you breathe out, tighten. So just imagine you're lifting your belly button into the body. That's it. Now we're going to start curling into a cat curl. So breathe in wide as you breathe out, tilt the pelvis and curl your spine up as you bring your abs really high into the body. That's it. Back into neutral. If you can, we're going to bring in your pelvic floor. Breathe in as you breathe out, you tighten your abs. That's it. Curl everything high into the body. Pelvic floor, same for women as it is for men. That's it. You tighten and you zip up. Last two, breathe in as you breathe out. So it's a very simple back stretch, but it also helps you to engage your core. So it's a really good one to actually get the connection. Last one, breathe in as you breathe out, tighten, curl, nice and high in the body. Well done. So that connection, keep that in mind. We're going into your box plank. Take your toes under, breathe in. As you breathe out, just float your knees five to 10 centimeters over the mat. That's it. So it's quite heavy on the hands. That's okay. Breathe in wide as you breathe out. This is about core. So tighten belly button towards the spine. That's it. So in your box plank, imagine that you're balancing balancing cups and saucers on your back. So I need you to make sure your, your back is not curved. It's not sticking out there. Keep it under into sort of a flat spine. Breathe in. As you breathe out, tighten. We've got four to go. If you need to take a break, please do. Join us when you're ready. Last three. Tighten, that's it. Last two, breathe in wide. Breathe out, tighten. Belly button towards the spine, last one. Well done, come on to the knees. Sit back into child pose, gently press back. Well done. Rotate your wrists if your wrists are playing up a little bit. That's fine. Don't be scared of that. Your wrists actually, they really benefit from having your body weight on them. Last few breaths. Get your breath back. Well done. So from here, rise up and we're going to come into a lying down position. So find the mat and with control. Come down, that's it. So once you're here, try and find a comfortable head position. Your gaze is slightly in front, tuck your chin in, palms facing up. So the, the rotation of the hands actually re relaxes your shoulder down a little bit. So especially those people that are quite tense in their shoulders, definitely rotate the hands and then actually take them away from the hips. Breathe out, your ribs come down. Your lower back has to stay in its natural curve. So this is about working your core to protect the spine and as the core gets stronger it will take pressure away from the, the lower back which is what we want. So imagine left to right hip bone if you had a little plank of wood building a little bridge between them we're going to place a little cup of tea in the middle. Now that connection there and keeping the balance in the hips is going to protect the curve in your lower spine. So breathe in as you breathe out you tighten belly button towards the spine if you can you zip up your pelvic floor if you have enough head space and then get your right knee above the right hip bone. Look at my lower back it doesn't change make sure yours doesn't either. Breathe in as you breathe out you tighten second knee comes up Second knee coming up, lots of pressure on the core. So if you feel that was a lot of um, pinching in the lower back, you may have to have one leg down for now. That's, that's okay, you, you build it up in strength and then when you're ready, you'll be able to do two. Now your kneecaps control how much pressure you have on your core. So if it feels 
if it feels quite tense and you're really having to grip every muscle you have to stay in this position, just take your kneecap slightly in front of the hip bones. It will take some pressure off, but keep the neutral spine. Those who are strong today, take your knees a bit further, work a bit harder, tighten. That's it, we're going to breathe. Breathe in wide into the ribs. As you breathe out, tighten. Belly button towards the spine. If you're not sure if your abs are doing what you want them to do, have your hands on your belly button. Breathe in wide as you breathe out. Make sure your abs move away from the hand downwards. Four more. We got this, we got this. Last three. Focus on your breathing. Last two. Last one, last one. Well done. Hug your knees into the body. That's it, side to side. So this is the quickest and the easiest back massage you can get to yourself, keep yourself. So you just hug your knees, you flatten the spine into the floor and then you roll, which is nice. Perfect. Now I'm going to get you back into that position where your knees are over the hips, the 100 position. And then we're going to play around with some leg extensions. So touch down first to make sure that we keep your neutral spine. This is so important. Otherwise, if you kind of roll from the hips and I'm here, I feel nothing. So there is a big difference. Make sure you've got your gap. Otherwise, you're just flattening the spine and you're not going to get much benefit. So as you touch down, find your neutral again, breathe in. As you breathe out, you tighten around the abs and get your right knee back over the right hip bone. Breathe in once more. As you breathe out, second knee comes up. Well done. So this is where we were before. But now, as you breathe out, I want you to see if you can find the edge of your mat with your toes. Now, if you feel it gets a bit too much pressure on your core there, you, your spine doesn't like it, maybe you feel a pinch, maybe you're losing your arch and it's increasing, then I want you to go just halfway. Breathe out there and bring it back up. So just work towards, you know, work according to your strength, that's it. So if you're not strong yet, then give your body time to get there and just keep doing this video regularly. That's it. We got this, we got this. Breathe in, breathe out. If you find the breathing really complicated, first of all, everybody does in lesson one, right? It's one of those things that people get really good at if they do a few, a few classes. So don't worry. Then the other thing is I do have a video just focused on the breathing and the engagement. So if you need extra help, just go and check it out. It's on my channel. And then you can just kind of get the grips without doing the movement. Doing well, last two after this. Breathe in, breathe out, tighten as you dip. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out, tighten. That's it, we're going to hug our knees after this one, well done. Hug your knees, now draw a circle. That's even nicer than just going side to side. Find the bony bits. That's it, release any tension, change direction, other way. Got this. Last one, last one, well done. So we've just done some core work and lack of core strength is one of the main reasons for back issues. The second reason is um, tight leg muscles. So let's tackle those as well. Hands around the knee, breathe in as you breathe out, come up. Well done. Find yourself back into a box position, which just means hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Perfect. Now you need a little bit of momentum. So sit back, breathe in as you breathe out, big step forward with your foot. Now it's very common in class that when I say that, people actually kind of get stuck here. So if that's the case, just Walk yourself forward, manipulate it with your hands. That's it, hands, 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 foot. That's what you're aiming for. Press the back knee a little bit further back because we're trying to open the back hip flexor here. So, you know, if you're quite close, then you're not going to feel it. So edge back with the back knee and see if you can release the hips. A little bounce will do the trick because if you hold it tight, then you're just kind of strengthening, but we need to make the muscle longer. If you're feeling good today, feeling nice and flexible and strong, get the knee to lift off and a little bouncing here. That's it. Nice and release. Trying to get a little bit more length in those hip flexors. Here we go, four, last three, last two, last one. Well done, come onto the knee. Well done, now take your foot in between the hands. Here we go. So from here, 
hand, foot, hand. We're going to straighten out the leg in front of you. So breathe in as you breathe out, straighten out. Just going into your hamstring in a dynamic way. Now, if you're feeling again, if you're feeling good today, if, it's, if your body allows you to take your toes off, and we can also do this with, with both legs off the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's do four more. Now, don't feel like you're not doing it right because your leg isn't straight. It's about feeling the stretch. So if you feel it here, you, you're not straightening out, but you feel it sort of tensing there, that's fine, that's fine. That's absolutely what we're looking for. Over time, the muscle will open up. Well done, last one. Take the knee down, other knee joints going into your pigeon pose. So the same leg as we had before is going to slide through. Edge back with your back knee, and then unless you have a dodgy knee, then you stay in this position. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you sit on your bum cheek on the side and you edge out with your shin here. Then you roll back, both hip bones are on, shining on the mat. You come onto your elbows or if you're feeling okay, you can go a little bit lower. Now try and breathe out and release at the same time. When you're stretching, it's about lengthening the muscle. So opposite to what we normally do in Pilates for the strengthening, where we're tightening, we're sort of um, really working on the out breath. When you're stretching, you do the opposite. You let go, let the muscle be long, don't hold on to tension. So if you're feeling fine, flatten yourself down. If it's a bit too intense, stay on your elbows. Last four, last three, last two, last one, last one. Done. One leg done. Other side. So get yourself back into hands and knees position with a little bit of momentum. Breathe in as you breathe out. Big step forward. Again, edge yourself forward if you need a bit of help. You've got hand, hand, foot, right? And then take your knee further back. Bounce. That's it. When in doubt, you bounce because that's a way to release. If you're feeling good today, take your knees off. That's it. Let's lengthen this hip flexor, which is this muscle here at the front there. Here you go for the last four, last three, last two, last one. Well done, well done. Take your knee down, place the foot between the hands, hand foot, hand position now. You can keep your knee on the floor if you like. Straighten out, go into your hamstring and back. If that's a little bit too easy maybe for you. Take your toes off, breathe in, breathe out, straighten out. Last four. So just straighten out as much as you can. Well done, last two. Last one, last one. Well done, from here, bring your knee down. We're going to slide your knee on the knees, breathe in as you breathe out, edge through. Edge back with your back knee so that your hips are low. You don't want to be too high. Again, it's too easy. Edge back, sit back and take your shin out here. Both hip bones, bring them back over. So the, the most common mistake, if there is a mistake, my people in my classes are quite good, but sometimes they go down here. Your hip has to go over. So make sure that they're hovering over the mat and then come down from here. Breathe in as you breathe out. Release. So I put a pigeon pose also into this routine as well as the original back hair routine because the feedback I had that this stretch on its own for some people was such a relief on their back that I don't want uh, anyone to miss out. So if you've never done the original back hair workout, I don't want you to miss out on this stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Last few breaths. Try and release, don't hold on. Last one. Well done. Gently come back up. That's it. Hands and knees position and come into seated. Well done. So I hope you enjoyed this little back hair routine. And if you uh, like what you see and you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. Any questions, put it in the box as well. I'm here to answer them. Bye.